going to be trying to install electric reverse on the two-speed 670 off-road go-kart. Now, what we're using is we're using an electric winch from Harbor Freight. This is the cheapest uh, electric winch from Harbor Freight. I honestly have no idea if this is going to work or not, but uh, this is an idea that I had a while ago, and I want to see if I can make it work. Alright, so now that I took this thing apart, it's uh, unfortunately not going to be as easy as I was thought, as I thought, you know, to get this thing to work. I was hoping that there was going to be like an axle sticking out of here where this thing, you know, spun on, that uh, I could just, you know, take that thing off, weld a sprocket onto here, and then call it done. I was hoping that was going to be the, the case, but no, unfortunately... This is like the only thing that really goes in there, so I'm going to have to make a part, I'm going to have to turn some kind of axle thing, weld that on the end of it, put the sprocket on this side, then use, and put a bearing on the other side, and then use this housing to house the bearing. So it's going to work, it's just, it's, it, it's going to be a little harder to get this thing to work.
All right, so before I work on this thing anymore and finish it, let's first see if it actually works or not because I was originally planning on adding like a lever to engage it because right now there's a spring on there which pulls it up off the chain and I was planning on having the lever pull it down and onto the t chain to engage it. But uh, before we do all that, let's first see if this thing actually works or not before I put that on. So this little thing came with a remote, so pull the remote and it works. So right now I just have to manually push it down to engage it. So right now we're doing it on some flat ground just to see if it actually will actually will work. So uh, yeah. Which way, which way is it? It's, it's that way. Right? Yeah, it's that way. Alright, right, here we go. Well, it works, it just, it doesn't sound that great. Um, yeah, let's, let's try it on uh, some in incline. See if it actually moves this thing up an incline. Alright, so first real test, let's have it just back up onto here. This is a slight incline up and there's a huge, like, two inch lip right here. So, let's see if it actually, actually works. Oh, it bent it! Oh! Dang it! Let me show you. Yeah, I'll admit, my design is not really the best. It kind of bent this like a pretzel, so... This is not too thick a material, but it, uh... You can see it, like, it bent it real bad, so... My, the way I have it engage and disengage with the chain is not really ideal. It's making the chain, like, really loose, so, um, yeah, I guess let's, uh, let's take it off and maybe strengthen it a little bit, see if we can beef it up. So it's real ugly, <laughs> it's not my best work at all, but um, it, it should work. Alright, so I finally reinstalled it, and basically, I just welded a bunch of stuff on there to hopefully keep it from bending real bad. I also installed this, this is a basically a tie-down strap that goes all the way to the front, and when you pull it, it pushes it down onto the chain engage it, and engages it. So. <laughs> This has got to be the jankiest thing I have ever built right now, but um, let's just see if this thing actually works. Let's really put it to the test and let's make it back up on a steep incline just to see if it'll actually work or not. All right, now we can see if this thing is actually gonna work or not, so. Alright, let's now try it without my weight, just to see if it works any better. It just sounds so bad.
Yeah, it's just, it doesn't have enough power. Alright, so while this is a good proof of concept, it definitely doesn't work well enough for me to want to keep this thing on here. I'm definitely ripping this thing out, but um, I don't want to give up on this idea. I want to try and see if I can make it work better. I know I need to get a bigger winch motor. I just wanted to, you know, try the smaller one just to see if it would work. Plus, it's only like 80 bucks, so I really didn't lose that much in this. So, I want to try a more powerful winch. I want to try a different way of having it engage with the main drive system and be able to disengage without worrying about it bouncing up and down and engaging with it while I don't want it to. So, I need to figure out a different way to do that, all that kind of stuff. I need to figure out, you know, a more powerful winch while also not making it so big that it's, it's just a really complicated system. I know there has been people who have taken electric starter motors and adapted those to be installed with the main drive system to where they hit the button, the electric starter motor engages, and that produces reverse. The only problem with that is that I find is you have to find a sprocket that works with that starter motor that you can weld on to something on the drive system. I've been looking for sprockets like that. I just can't find anything that will work. Then you got to find the starter motor. You got to make sure you have a big enough battery that can power that thing. So I wanted this to be a simple way to do this. Just get a, a winch. It goes forward and reverse. So if you can have it engage properly, you can have forward and reverse with electric motors. So I definitely want to try a different way of installing this, having it work together. But um, I think for this right now, I'm tearing this thing out because it just it does not work that well. And um, anyway, I gotta end the video here. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.